Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a very classic chatty get ready with me because it's been about a year since I made one and I just feel like we have a lot to catch up on. I also have all of my favorite most used beauty products here and a couple new ones. If you are interested in any of the products that I use, I will link them in the description box. Starting off with some sunscreen. I'm gonna let that sink into my skin a little bit. Do you have any puppy owner tips? Yes, I definitely do. I adopted my puppy, Sammy, in 2020, and I definitely wanted a dog, but ended up with a puppy, and I feel like that is such a different experience. And so when anyone asks me for dog advice, I always ask them first if you want a puppy or you want a dog. Really examine your lifestyle and see if you could handle a puppy, because for the first year, they're a lot harder than the rest of their life. Sammy is so chill now. She's my best little friend. Um, but the first year was really hard. Um, so my, my tips are always to invest in training early while they're young. It does just really pay off for the rest of their life. I personally crate trained her. She's not in a crate anymore, but that really helped with like if she ever had to go to the vet or the groomer and be boarded. I also got her groomed really early. I want to say she was maybe like five months old um, because she has a long coat and you want them to like just be super comfortable getting groomed and all of that for the rest of their life. Like just set them up for success. Um, and lastly, pet insurance. It ends up paying for itself in the long run, especially that first year. So I would recommend it. I'm now applying the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It reminds me of the Glossier Future Dew but just a little bit lighter and less oily. Would you like to have roommates again slash go live with your boyfriend? So I just talked about this in a vlog that I just posted, but my boyfriend and I have actually been apartment hunting to find like the perfect place for both of us because he basically lives here. He's here all the time. And it just is a little bit small for two people. There is no storage. Uh, and I, I only have one parking space. There's no in-unit laundry. And I pay a lot to live in this apartment. Um, so we're really looking to find something that combines all of our needs and I'm super excited about it. And I'm excited to share the process with you guys too. Um, but to answer your question, no roommates, but my boyfriend. <laughs> so kind of a roommate. Someone also asked, how did we meet? So I thought I would just throw this in here since you guys might see a little bit more of him here and there since we'll be living together. But Kyle and I met on Hinge. Uh, we both had on our profiles photos of us at the Rose Bowl flea market, which you guys know is like my favorite place ever. So that was like what our first message exchange was about. And now we go together all the time. It's like one of our favorite things to do. He works in fashion. So I feel like he just immediately understood my world and understands influencer marketing. He works in denim specifically. So he's taught me a lot about denim and we also have like almost identical music taste. Just a few weeks into dating, we went to a music festival with Phoebe Bridgers and The Strokes. And looking back, that was like so spontaneous. I really didn't know him that well, but it was always just from the beginning, I felt very safe and like I had known him forever. And it's really only just like gotten better and better and better. In your opinion, what's crucial relationship advice that isn't communication? So I had to kind of think about this because my immediate thoughts were like finances, mental health, but both of those are just topics to communicate about. Like everything is communication, but I would say the most important thing that I've learned is definitely viewing someone as my true partner that I want to help succeed and that they want to help me succeed. They want to help me and not to be just like hyper independent because that's something that I have always been and been okay with, but it's okay to ask someone for help and really like rely on another person. It's beautiful. It's like what life's all about. This was a new product for me, but I really like it. I also feel like I got the shade match pretty good. How do you keep your skin so clear? I feel like it's a combination of things, definitely genetics, but also birth control. 
I used to only break out like in the hormonal area once a month. They'd be super, super large under the skin, painful acne. Um, and once I went on birth control, now I really don't break out. Um, it's definitely made my life a lot easier. I got very lucky. How do you stay consistent creating content? I get self-conscious looking at myself for too long. Okay, first of all, I feel the exact same way. I think everyone that creates content feels self-conscious at one time or another. Um, staying consistent creating content though is pushing through it. It's saying no to the perfectionism and posting anyway. It's normal to feel self-conscious, especially when you see yourself from different unflattering angles. I try and remember that what I have to say and the outfits I'm making are, are valuable and they're more important than the way that I look if that day I'm feeling really self-conscious about my body or my face. I just always go back and forth between wanting to change myself to make myself happy and wanting to reject that and like say no to society and anti-aging and all of that and just like be myself but it's just hard to be a woman online frankly there's like no right way to do it this is another new product to me this is the say slip tint concealer in the shade three any big projects coming up so i don't know if i can call it a project i think it is i really want to have an event in la that's like open to the public that's a clothing swap I really want to make it happen. I think it would be so much fun to make friends and get rid of some clothes, sell clothes, whatever it is. Maybe have food there, have music. I'm working out the details and like venue and things like that, but everyone on Instagram and TikTok sounded very excited. So if you're in the LA area, follow me and I will keep you guys updated as we get more details worked out because I've, I've just never thrown an event. How to go back to eating chicken after being veggie for years. So personally, I had fish first for like a whole year and then I was ready to start eating chicken. And I started by getting rotisserie chicken, but now I'm actually pretty good at cooking it. I will do like a cast iron with hot oil and do like chicken breasts or chicken thighs, lots of seasoning. I can link the TikTok below. It was like how to make chicken for beginners. And it's honestly super delicious with some veggies, a side salad. I also just bought the Define Dish Cookbook because I always saw Clara Purse make her recipes, the defined dish. And after making a couple that I saw on her blog, I just was like, I should just buy the cookbook because I really love cookbooks. I feel like they're really fun for learning and cooking out of, obviously. I mean, that's their purpose. But if you're like new to something, maybe get a cookbook in it. I also just did my brows with the Kosas Brow Pencil Patrick Ta Brow Gel. And now I'm gonna do the Tower 28 Mascara on top and the Glossier Mascara on bottom, both in brown. But I definitely need to get a little bit closer to my mirror to do this. What do you do to pick yourself up on the days where you feel bleh? Um, first of all, I totally get it. I feel like I was depressed for like the first few months of the year and I'm finally getting out of it. Um, I found that Pilates really got me through the hard times when I was depressed over the last few months and I didn't wanna go. Most of the time I didn't wanna go, but I always felt better at the end. Um, so for me personally, I just tried to push through, but not push myself to, to pretend. Like it's okay to not feel amazing every day. You don't have to be happy while you go for a walk or while you do your laundry, but it will make you feel better. How to start decorating your first apartment when you share. I wasn't sure if when you asked this question, you meant when you share with roommates or for me specifically, like as I'm going to share with my boyfriend, but I feel like it can be really fun to collaborate with a roommate if they have good taste. You can like go thrifting together for furniture or looking on Facebook Marketplace. But as far as my next move, I feel like we need to see the place first and then we'll go from there with furniture. But the one thing I know that we want is a sectional couch because this couch, I wanna say is like six feet and it's just like, it's a one person couch. <laughs> you both have to like sit on it. It's not great for like sprawling out and I would love that. 
what is the best way to meet new people in LA slash a new place where I don't know anyone? So I can really only speak for LA because I live here, um, but there are so many community events and like clubs that I see popping up all the time for different types of activities. Almost every neighborhood has a run club. I know there's like hiking and walking groups that you can join. There's also like card game groups or pickleball. I know the app Camber has a lot of community-based events if you want to like meet people in person because I feel like that is the best way to meet people is like out and about doing things workout classes, flea markets, farmers markets. There's also a dog park that you can become a member of. So it's kind of more of like a social club, but that would be a great place to meet people. They have like food and drinks, but it's a dog park. Like there's, there's lots of ideas of ways to get out there but I've also made friends by just getting a coffee with someone I'm mutuals with on Instagram or TikTok. And I do feel like the internet is a really great place to make friends with other cool people who have interests similar to you if you are not shy about like posting what you like and what you're into. There are so many nice, cool girls out there and obviously meeting up with strangers is something you should be careful about, but I've also made a ton of my friends through the internet and I think I would do that even if this wasn't my job because I do just love posting. I'm wearing the Say Glossy Bounce in the shade Bounce. This is one of my favorite gloss formulas. It's just like really light and wearable but I will link those resources for fun groups and events in LA because I hate when LA gets a bad rep for being a hard place to make friends or being a toxic city. I'm from California. I love LA. I love the people here. I think there are amazing opportunities to make friends. That is the completed everyday makeup look. I will have all of the products that I used linked in the description box. And now to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing business, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform made for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. They make it easy to create a professional looking website, engage with your audience, even sell things like products, content, all in one place, all on your time. I've been using Squarespace for years to host my website, lindsayrem.com, and I love that I was able to get a custom domain. They make the process super easy and they also have thousands of customizable website templates. So when it comes to designing, it's very intuitive. Their templates allow you to customize your look, update content and add features to fit your unique needs at any time. So your idea, brand or business looks great on every device. Squarespace also gives you access to thorough analytics about your website, which is super important for tracking performance. You can learn more about your site visitors or where sales are coming from and analyze which channels of your website are the most effective to make changes for your business's growth. If you're interested in checking out Squarespace, you can get a free trial at squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, use my code LindsayRem to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.